Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rob and this is Seven Skies Astro. Now today I'm going to talk about my catcher of the Bubble Nevier, NGC 7635. Now this nebula is around about 8,500 light years away. It's lit up by an old type star which temperature surface temperature of around about 37,000 degrees. It's a mass of 44 times the mass of the sun and 15 times the radius. Now the stellar winds from this star is is creating a bubble in space and it's also lighting up the surrounding H2 region. So I've captured it with me my 120ED and my Azzy 533MC Pro cooled to 0 degrees it's been quite warm and I, I don't really want to go to minus 10 in that and it, the difference is negligible with the temperature variance at the read noise per 300 minutes it's less than one electron volt so that's what I've done and I'm going to jump on the computer and show you how I processed it NGC 7635, the bubble nebula, 9 hours 15 minutes. I will leave the data in the link so you can have a mess with it yourselves. It'll be in fits format. So there it is. What I've done, I use, um, I've been using a lot of Sethi Astro's scripts. Really quite well, uh, quite nice to use. Um, and if you look at it there, that's it's a bit of a grading going on so go to scripts satay astro and automatic gbe i basically just leave it on defaults and see what it gives me just runs through it really quickly there's the background taken off and that gives me that image there so next up i've taken the stars out taking the stars out and There you go. Taking the stars out. Now it sees a bit of a dark patch there. Um, for this one, I'm not going to run Set the Astro again on it. But there you, there you have the data. Now, first things first, I take a bit of noise out of it just to ease it up a little bit. Then, let's close that down. I've run it through script, two box crate hubble from one shot color. And now I decided on the who, and there's it after it's done. It's a little bit noisy there because the reason is that when I when I sorry wrong one when I when I run noise exterminator the end result is wasn't very good when I run that script, the one shot colour script. So I found it run better if I 
hundred noise exterminator, and then I run it, and it seems to get a better result to run it afterwards. And I say then I use set the astro script, and it was statistical stretch. And that's giving me that image there a noisy, a little bit noisy still. So I took the, the, the green out a little bit. And then I j just set the histogram to it. Just a little bit to, to bring up the black points. Next up, it was mainly curves where just adjusting the colour slightly and then adding, using the, the blue bring the blue up in a in a slight s curve only a slight s curve and there's also what you can do is when you're doing the curves is in the blue is if you want to say this blue is if you anchor your lower points and your high points you just bring up the mid tones you can see it's bringing up that blue in the middle that's what it Basically, I was doing there. Let's say a little bit more curves, curves, just bringing that, bring that red up, little by little, and then I do with noise exterminator. Now, with noise exterminator, I don't usually do it nighty. I drop it down to say seventy-five or seventy. Seventy-five is probably good. But I bring the detail up to 25 because on a 3 to 1 basis, I find that it doesn't lose the detail so much. It just sharpens that detail up a little bit, as you can see there. Next, I've inverted it. and use screen on it to take out that all that green and then inverted it back and it gives me this nice the gold colors what i was looking for i know i've lost a little bit of the blue but it is subjective to what you want back onto the curves and just little bits of color enhancing on that red And then the colour answer not on the blue, using the curves the way I'd done before, if you remember, in a key the middle of the curve. It just brightened it a little bit. And then it went on the histogram. And the histogram just bring that black point to us. All these curves were because losing those go very, very light. So brought up the black point. And they say the details starting to go a little bit there. So I used my advanced, the advanced sharpening, which is under scripts, utilities, advanced sharpening. And if you look there, I just do it as is. One pass is more than enough for, for pretty much any image. I do find, uh, Chad said he likes to use the Blair X, but I prefer to use the advanced sharpening. Next up, I just use, now this is, you can do this or not, is dark structure enhance. Now, it's very subjective like anything else. Do you, do you like it or do you not? But that's pretty much it for that. I do, I do like the way it's gone. Now, this for the stars, it's just I've basically just used Set I Astro's star stretch, and um, basically left it as is. So now we're just basically 
screen them together, which I use. I've, I use screen straws. There is other ways you can screen them. You can use image blend and stuff like that. Um, there's and the stars, every stars, and there's that. Just drop it on there. I think the stars and everything look quite nice. I'll just click OK for that. And there's the final image. Let's drop these out the way. Just make that big for you. Oh, it is quite a dim target. You can also, if you wanted to, it's a bit noise exterminator again. The thing is with this, every time you go through it, you can change a little bit and it affects the final outcome. So at the end of the video, I'll put this image and some of the others I've run through. But that's been the basic workflow for me on this target. It is very quite detailed there for, for what it is. It's only nine hours, but you could always, if you wanted to, brighten the image up, you know. But as I say, everything is a little bit subjective. Brighten that up there. Put an S in it. The background. But I... I I think I'll leave it as is, or maybe increase the reds. Yeah, you want this red here, see where the idea there, right round about there. So you want to anchor, put, put some anchors in there. Maybe turn it up a little bit, like so. Just a little touch. But it is very much subjective. If you want more, just a little bit red, I think that. That's probably right. And again, there's more of the red here, all the fainter stuff coming up. Do you want to keep that or no? See, it just brings the hydrogen alpha out. And I don't think I'll do any more. I think that's more than enough. And there it is. You've got the clarity of the bubble itself and these hydrogen on the outside so there you have it I'm quite pleased with it not too bad I'm using the false colour to make the Hubble palette with it as well yeah, I've left two images there one with the original image of the the nebula as, as a chord with the yellow ants and the other one which has been colourised in the Hubble palette using the scripts in Pixar site so, as I say, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So, be safe, be well, and clear skies.